That woman's name is Carmen Montenegro, and police suspect she killed her ex-boyfriend and tried to bury his body parts. KTLA's Elizabeth S. in Western Massachusetts are a brutal reminder that these storms can strike almost anywhere in the country. Today, that state's top elected officials toured the most ravaged areas. Nicole Collins has the latest. Hi, Jim, thank you. Arson investigators are looking into a fire at a downtown LA party supply store. It's the second fire in the same area this week. KTLA's Lynette Romero has the details. Well, there's a one-of-a-kind luncheon happening in downtown L.A. right now. It's the annual Hope for Firefighters. Beverly Hills fertility doctor who implanted a dozen embryos into Octomom, Nadia Suleiman, is going to have his medical license revoked next month. With the help of First Lady Michelle Obama, the USDA is reshaping how we see nutrition. In Washington, this health news. Click on ktla.com slash health. Well, in court today, the judge called Philip Garrido a poster child for sexual predators, saying, quote, you have no soul. It was, and in her statement, J.C., whose two children were fathered by Garrido while he held her captive, said she chose not to be in court today because she refused to waste another second of her life in Philip Garrido's presence. I'm Leela Feinstein. Micah, back to you. Leela, thank you.